apa jadi dengan Majid Asyakirin let's find out Assalamualaikum, jumpa lagi di Kapcai Raidology Yes, this week is the continuation for the search uh, Hashtag 75SGMOS Okay, I have sat down and do a lot of research So I really did find 75SGMOS But of course, when you try to search from google i don't think you will get all 75 but stay tuned and i will show you guys all the 75 one by one inshallah one every week so last week we were at masjid darul gufran in tempenis uh, it's the biggest most in Singapore uh, currently so yes I did a Wikipedia search and there is an issue so what is the issue there are some sources other sources that states that there is a bigger mosque than Masjid Darul Gufran and it's actually uh, but I don't know whether it's official or not because some says that okay size wise all right size wise this uh, so from the internet it stated that Majid Daru Gufran is the biggest we base this statistics based on the not the size of the compound but then how many capacity it can hold so as, a, as the case of Majid Daru Gufran is 5,500 capacity and then that's why this, this issue came up that's why the question is what happened to Masjid Ashakirin so actually I was wrong on the info that the title was held by Majid Sultan as the biggest mosque in Singapore but it's actually Masjid Ashakirin Masjid Ashakirin in Wikipedia is being said having a capacity of 5,000 jemaah but some other sources did mention they can accommodate up to 6,000 so if it's 6,000 then Ashakirin should be the biggest mosque in Singapore but we will leave it as it is so Masjid Darul Gufran is being the biggest with 5,500 capacity I was supposed to go to the smallest masjid in Singapore this week but then since because of this info so okay we will just put it in as I don't know probably not the biggest but it is one of the biggest mosques in Singapore so let's go and take a look at masjid Asha Kirin in Jurong West so it's good for me that Masjid Asha Kirin is quite near so let's do a search here okay, S S Y A Asha Kirin Masjid Asha Kirin there so it's only 3.3 kilometer from my place it's eight minutes and okay so let's go head east okay I've reached I'm here at Masjid Ashakirin. Let's see this on the map, okay? Masjid Ashakirin, let's zoom out. We are in the western part of Singapore. Oops, wrong way. 
do I get this on full screen? There you go. Western side of Singapore. Zoom in again. Somewhere here, this place is called Taman Jurong. So I believe this is the front of the mosque with the logo. So what happened here? They're doing a renovation. I'll take this shot from far away then we can see everything. The front of the mosque. So this is the part that they are renovating, adding a, what do you call this, facade, I don't know what you call this, but this mosque actually we can walk around it, look at this area, it's a football field, so I will circle this mosque from the side here, okay? So while walking, I'm gonna type out some information regarding this this mosque here. Okay, we see here the big masjid logo. If not mistaken, this is uh, one of the mosques that is being built using the mosque building fund. There we have the minaret. Ah, look at the, the block over there. So probably I will try to go up there and see if we can take an overview shot because the same with Majid Darul Gufran, this place is uh, not allowed to fly a drone because we are near Tengah Airbus. So no flying within 5 km of the aerodrome. Okay, maybe I'll fast forward when I go around the, the other side. So made our uh, one full round and we are back here again to the front side of the mosque. So if you see across, we have this building over here, probably we could get a shot from up there, or I don't know whether it's better up there, we'll go and see. It looks like just the block across, Majid Ashakirin is a perfect view of the overhead. So we have the new renovation going up on the front of the mosque. So this mosque in Wikipedia is said to be able to house 5,000 jamaah at one particular time. There's the view of the surrounding place. This is actually what do you call this? I think it was Taman Jurong Shopping Center. I will find out more and type it here somewhere if I'm wrong. So this is Masjid Ashakirin from the 12th floor. So we were from block 361 Yung An Road from the 12th floor. Let's go back to the mosque. The basement cup up for this mosque, but due to COVID, 
it is inaccessible right now so let's go inside the mosque and see what's inside look like so this is the wudu area water cooler we have the gens over there so let's go to the prayer hall Mimbar and Mihrab Look at that fan Second story, third story Nice So there you have it Nothing serious <laughs> My starting of the video question might uh, be of a shock to you a little bit, but no. Uh, what do we have for Majah Shakirin? Uh, what happened to Majah Shakirin is just okay, behind me there's a renovation. And the big question is why did Majah Shakirin not be the biggest mosque? in singapore so it's a question mark for all because the data uh, some sources says it's 6000 capacity but okay as in wikipedia it's 5000 capacity so it's in second place right now uh, being the biggest is still majid daru gufran so asha kirin is the second biggest mosque in singapore so yeah, watch out and stay tuned for next episode will be the smallest mosque in Singapore. Meanwhile, all riders out there, take care you guys. Safety counts first. And yeah, reporting live from Masjid Ashakirin in Jurong West. This is Ding Armando signing off from Kapchai Ridology. Assalamualaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.